So hi everyone, today let's talk about episode 5 and 6 of Singles Inferno. I feel like there's so much that happened in just like those two episodes and I can't wait for episode 7 and 8. But before that, you know, let's just like talk about what happened. So first of all, episode 5. It starts, we see that there's a new girl swimming and like from the get-go I was like, okay, there's a new girl. so. A new person that Sehun can like choose or be with. She she seemed like pretty pretty nice and everything. I was like, okay, no, that's good. That's a that's a chance for him. But <laughs> we all know what happened, you know. And like he was being like so nice to her. He was helping her. So I thought maybe she was his type. If you're in a new environment and then someone just you know helps you so much like that, then. You know, of course, you're gonna like that person more than other people. Also, he was like, "Oh, she left such a good impression, a first impression," and he was like, "Her eyes are so looks pure." <sighs> Again, I don't get what that means. Him and Chi Hoon, they said that like a few episodes ago. I still don't know what that means. But let's let's not. Okay. After that, during the campfire at night, where they all sat sat around, and like you could see Jian trying to flirt with Jin Tae, and that made me feel so like, girl, please. <laughs> and then So Young she came in and he was like, "Oh, sit next to me." At that point, I was like, "What's happening? Like, is he going for So Young or is like he's going for Jian?" I was so confused. After that, they had the game. Um, where they ask each other questions and you know when <laughs> when they ask Shiyun if there's one person he likes and then he said yes I felt so embarrassed <laughs> I felt so embarrassed for him in a way because they all, they're all like they're all like ooh like we know who you like <laughs> and then you could see Jia's face where she was <laughs> She was just like... <laughs> that was so funny. And then they asked the same thing to Hyungjoon and he said the same thing. After, I think the question was asked to Jin Taek and you know, he was basically say, saying that he was interested in two people. And you know, in a way, because I feel like so on she thought that he really wasn't like that interested in her anymore. So for, like from my point of view, it was like, okay, like I'm still interested in you, but you know, I had a good time with Jian, so that's why I'm kind of like confused right now. That was, that was how I saw it, but I think like from like their perspective, it wasn't a good thing. But you know, that's, that's just me. And you know, when uh, Jia, she answered the question because they asked her as well, and she, she said, she basically said that, like she, there's one person she, she likes um, and then she was like ah. <laughs> I felt so bad because it's obvious who that person is it's not it's not him it's at that moment it was Hyung Jung so I felt bad for the guy honestly after that they were around the campfire and then it was Jion, Jin Taek and Sehun. They were kind of talking. Well, no, actually, it was more like Jin Tech and Jian were talking, and Sehun was there. It was like, like those two, you know, they were fine, but like him, I guess he felt really awkward. And then Jin Tech left. At that, at that point, I was like, there's no way. He's not actually leaving. He's not actually leaving right now. How are you gonna leave Jian alone with Sehun? It was so awkward. As soon as he left, she was like this, <laughs> you know, like, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> it was so awkward. And to me, it's like, after all this, can't you realize that the girl doesn't like you? <laughs> like, the other guy just left and she looks like she, she's about to fall asleep anytime soon. But then when uh, Yewon and Sumi came in, I felt like in her head, in Jian's head, she she thought, "Thank God, <laughs> thank God for coming." And then she she took that chance to leave. 
I mean, I, I would have done the same thing. I think afterwards, um, Soyeon and Jin Taek talked about like their relationship, and you know, I liked the fact that they talked together about what was happening. And I feel like Jin Taek should have just like said, like told her that he was confused between these two because you know it's okay, it's normal to be confused. But he should he should have just been honest about the whole thing. The next day, Shiyun and Sumin they went to take water together, bring water together. I mean that happened because Tia <laughs> didn't want to go with them. That was really sad, but. What can we do? She she doesn't want to be with him. So he went with Sumin and I thought their chemistry was, you know, it wasn't too bad. So I felt like, you know, maybe something might happen between these two. Maybe um, Shion is gonna choose, finally go for someone else because clearly Jia doesn't like him. What happened after, okay? Soon talked with Hyun Jung about her situation with both Jin Taek and Seon. And I feel like whenever someone talks with him, he's kind of not dismissive, but he doesn't say the whole truth. I feel like he doesn't say what he actually thinks. Yeah, I feel like he tries to water down how things actually are sometimes, from time to time. So then he went and brought Seon so that him and Soyeon could talk. And that talk between these two was just it was something I was watching it I was like no this is not happening the biggest thing I took from this from their talk was that Seon's pride was hurt by what so Soyeon told them basically because there's no one except her that actually told them she doesn't like you they're all like oh maybe it's because of this maybe it's because of that but she actually told them she just doesn't like you and you're making her feel uncomfortable and I, like at that time it was like oh I really hate doing that but then you know he was telling her oh why do I have to hear that from you what you did really hurt my pride I, I didn't like hearing you talk like that and but the thing is she just told you the truth because he's not able to like get it himself and she just told him of course maybe the timing wasn't right because um she was telling him about yeah, Jin Taek, A. Jion, and it feels as if like when she told him his feelings, her feelings, kind of feelings, it was because oh, Jin Taek is going for someone else, so now she's telling him that you know she she liked him at, in the beginning, but you know that's I feel like that's not the main thing about this the conversation you had. She was just telling you that you know you should try to go for someone else because. Clearly, the other girl is not into you. And I feel like Seoun is someone that's like so competitive, that's like kind of stubborn in a way, or he's just like kind of obsessed with Jian because like she doesn't want to go for him, but he keeps on like choosing her, on going after her, and maybe that might be because he's competitive, but that's really you know that's that's too much and while they were talking I really felt bad for Soyeon you know like their whole talk was just not good I think at that point everyone realized that both of them is it's never gonna happen because Soyeon was saying that he liked someone that had their own opinions but then when that person tells you his or her opinion you're not listening I think we have a problem here. But that ended because they were asked to come to the campfire to meet the new people that were coming to the island. And then the new people came in after. At first it was Minji. And it was funny because she had the same top as G1. I thought that was kind of funny. And then my man Hyun Sung came and he just looked so handsome. Everyone was looking at him like, who is that? <laughs> And obviously he knew Hyung Jung and Jia. I feel like him coming to Inferno is just gonna change a lot of things. It changed a lot of things too, so I was really excited. At the end, they had them choose one person they wanted to go on a date with. Then Minji just she chose Sehun, Sumin, she chose Jin Jin Shake. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, okay. And then um, Hyun Sung, he chose Jia. 
and I think we all knew that was gonna happen because they knew each other but they've never seen each other so before to have something with her but then her, Hyunsung, is close to her ideal type compared to Hyunjung <laughs> so I was like oh my god what's happening at that point in episode 5 I thought you know that was that's gonna change a lot of things in the next few days so that was it. That was it for episode 5. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.